It is about that time for Ready, Set, Real Estate. I hope you're feeling that track. That is Inspired to Be Great, produced by Henry West Coast Brown. We have a phenomenal, powerful, impact show. This is edutainment at its finest. We've got a great guest on today. Oh, you know I love bringing on the youth, the young faces, and especially our young brothers that are doing amazing things. And today is that day. I get to bring to you Juar Kassir. He goes by J Understanding. Juar, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing great. Great. I'm glad to be on the show. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Um, we were working through some technical difficulties. Let's just keep it real. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> we made it. We made it here. Oh, Juwar. So I'm really excited. I mean, Juwar and I connected here actually while he was in California and uh, he's traveling, he's making ways. And I want him to share a little bit about himself, where he's from, where he is bound to go, grow and take his business, his team to the next level. And what's really admiring, Juwar, is that you are seeking already to give back and nurture and plant those seeds. So that for me, I was like, you saw me, I saw what you were doing. I said, you are, my platform is your platform. You gotta come on the show and share with people what you're doing. So first thing first, where are you from? <laughs> All right, I'm from Philadelphia originally, uh, born and raised. Uh, it's a tough city, but you know, uh, if you have the right mindset, you can definitely prevail, make it through and find the right path to go. Luckily, I was raised by um, really good parents that kept me on my kept me on my P's and Q's. So whenever I was um, involved in any situation, I was looking at it from an analytical standpoint, seeing the, the best way possible to uh, make the best out of the situation, whatever it was. So I'm here now and I'm thankful for them. And, and them got me to where I'm, where I'm at at this point. Yes, yes, that, oh my goodness. You just, you have so much to offer and give and, and grow that I, I kind of, I have to learn right now from you because I, I don't know where you want to go with this. So let's talk about where we initially connected in terms of your business. Would you share a little, little bit about your business and the opportunities that uh, you have and just kind of, I, I believe now, where are you based right now? Right now, I'm at our Houston office that we just actually acquired um, this year. It's a great facility. We plan on doing a lot of major here. I'm at the lab right now, it's just called Innovation Labs. We're going to be having a lot of robotics and, and tech savvy things going on. So look for investors and individuals within our community who have the entrepreneurial mindset to kind of go those directions because that is the future um, tech and business in that space to actually come uh, be a part of what we have going on. Right. Um, but just going back into my history, I'm here in China to become the new republic. Um, it's been a phenomenal process just being with the company and learning the ins and outs. I specialize in uh, business credit, personal credit, taxes, uh, insurance, business lending. So I've kind of dabbled uh, through for a, a young person of my age. I've kind of been exposed to a lot of good information. And now I'm just looking to kind of uh, give it back to individuals who need it at this point. That's huge. May I share um, how old you are? I mean, you you you're you're involved and you're growing and you're saying I want to give back already. I mean, you're not froze here. Yeah, but I, we can hear you. So Let's just we'll keep rolling. Um, can you hear me, Juwar? Juwar, we got a little disconnect. So what I'll do is, Juwar, I'll have you. Hey, Lisa, I'm still here. I don't know okay. if you froze. Okay, no worries, um, because we, and, and a good thing is, we repurpose the show on our uh, podcast. So I try to remind my guests, you know, even if on the video and we're doing a Facebook Live 
or we get repurposed on on demand YouTube, it's okay. We keep rocking and rolling because our listening audience, for those of you who are new to the show, Ready Set Real Estate is available on radio podcasts everywhere iTunes, Google Play, Anchor FM, Stitcher Radio, which gives us access to 4 million car dashboards everywhere. So I'll give him a sec to come back on, but let me just share, let me fill you in. So we're on with Juar Kassir. This brother right here has been highly, highly uh, admirable in his ability to network, to use his entrepreneurial mindset, uh, tribute to parents, thankful for his parents. Even when I met him, he shared with me, my parents have been integral to the footing that I have for me and my siblings, my siblings and I, which uh, he has a sibling in Philly that we also want to get him connected with Anthony Lee, who is our Philly uh, real estate partner, who is running our Real Estate 100 internship program in Philly. So for those of you who are out there and are new to Real Estate 100 Youth Foundation, learn more about what we are doing. Ready Set Real Estate is the show that supports our nonprofit mission, which is teach the next to fix the now. We out are empowering our youth and young adult community to learn real estate literacy, real estate literacy, so that they can learn about acquisition, purchase, investing, to see the plethora of entrepreneur careers available. And so I just, I'm excited. Uh, Juwar and I have built offline and he just is a plethora of, of opportunity and avenue. And his foundation is, I mean, kudos to parents, kudos to him for having the onus and responsibility in himself to see worth and value. So I want to just make sure, let me just double check with him to see where he is and we'll bring him on. And if I need to reschedule and reshoot, I will do that. I mean, you guys hear me talk all the time. Ready, Set Real Estate is this platform for me to bring on the great people that are doing amazing things. So I see Jovita, Miss Benson says, I'm here. Thank you for being here. We just connected on social media. I really thank you for sharing that you are on the show. So as he works through his kinks and the technical stuff, we'll bring him back on because we're talking about in terms of the state of our youth and to see what he's doing, learn more at newrepublic.com. And again, he's talking about innovation and technology and he has a great camp that is coming up that I really wanted him to come and talk about um, on the show. So I just wanted to make sure that he had the opportunity to share that. Ms. Benson says, I'm his mom. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. Isn't that so? You must be very proud. You must be very proud that he has come on. Um, and I want to give him a sack so we can work out. Like I said, I mean, one of the nice things is when you when you run your own business, we can make adjustments <laughs> to when we have things like this. I'm going to shoot him a quick message and say, Please come back on. So, so yes, I thank you all again for supporting Ready Set Real Estate. As I mentioned, uh, Real Estate 100 Youth Foundation is our nonprofit, and we are just one one of many avenues to support the students uh, who may not foresee the four year college universities as a possibility uh because in realities um you know the entrepreneur mind is very different <laughs> let's just say this entrepreneur mind is very different it's designed different differently so we want to advocate and support our youth who may want to get into vocational training who want trade schools so our internship program actually offers we have to the real estate internship program and the entrepreneur ready program so we match them with industry professionals who are business owners and independent contractors and they will show them what is required to get into those business and if you're hearing this for the first time and you hear me say this for the first time real estate is a 1.3 trillion dollars industry and that is annually and i'm not talking about sales i am saying and talking about all the 
intricacies of people that are connected in the industry, the termite inspector, the appraiser, the escrow officer, the title officer, the title rep. Um, there are tons of people, the landscape, the architect, the, the, the real estate attorneys, the settlement companies. I can go on and on and on. And it is an activity that I do with the youth in our program about Real Estate 100, which is our signature workshop. We're introducing them to this. So Jawar, he's probably working that out. So I'm going to give him a few more minutes. And if I need to, you know, like I said, reschedule, we'll do that. But I definitely want you guys to really hear from Jawar um, what is happening in terms of his business, uh, a upcoming summer camp, uh, for third grade and up third grade reading level. And it's really about that entrepreneur mind and we've got to be at a place. So I, you know, I give thanks for parents like Miss Benson, uh, Miss Heaven Understanding. I really like that uh, tag name, by the way, <laughs> who is supportive. And, and from what, what I've learned of you through Jawar is that you all have, all have been supportive in terms of your children and planting those seeds of foundation, legacy building, give back. I mean, that's phenomenal. That is absolutely phenomenal. I know he's in about in his 20s and I'm in my 30s and I tend to attract the younger generation. And what I'd like to do with our platform and with our movement is to connect the intergenerational conversation between our predecessors, our elders, and our youth community. So we're working in tandem, just like the, the, the quilts to be properly woven. So that's what this is about. That's what Ready, Set, Real Estate is about. Let me check with Jawar. We're going to have to, I'm going to have to call him. <laughs> Let's see what happened. Where's Jawar? Jawar Mychuk. I might have to do, so I've done this before while I've had to have my guests on as a call-in. So if need be, I'll have them on the call-in. Hey, hey, Jawar, you know, we can do this as a phone call if you're having some issues with the live. Um, if you'd like, because I'm still recording. Did you want to log back in or do you want to just, we'll just do the voice recording because they can still hear you. Okay. Um, I guess we can try to do it as a voice recording. And then, because um, I'm trying to relocate now to see if it's my Wi-Fi service where I'm at. Okay. Um, we can transition back into the video. Yeah, we can transition back into the video. So I'm, I'm going to say this, Jawar. I'm going to actually kind of... <laughs> Um, so Juar and I were planning this. So this works out great. This is Juar's debut, but Juar is going to be a regular guest uh, featured host on the show. Uh, I anticipate I wanted him to get to a space where we're talking about taxes and efficient tax planning regularly, where it's not you're just not showing up with your tax person once a year, but that should be an ongoing conversation. So he'll be featured probably every quarter. Is that was that a good time that we talked about it? <laughs> yeah, it sounds great for me. Yeah, so he's gonna come on every quarter. So Juar, let's continue to build and talk about New Republic. Um, we missed you. We missed a little bit of what you were sharing. So I just want to give you the opportunity to come back on and revisit that. So New Republic, tell us about the innovation and the opportunities in which you guys have going on. Yes, ma'am. So essentially, our goal is to connect the underserved community with financial literacy and bring entrepreneurship to the forefront um, through a number of different avenues. Right now, we're releasing several different programs uh, and, and platforms for individuals to be a part of. Um, as I was going over before we got disconnected, the Innovation Lab Center is actually designed for uh, tech savvy individuals where people just looking to invest into uh, the tech space where we could have uh, robotics going on and a number of different uh, uh, spaces available for people that want to create uh, in the tech space. So that's a, that's a great uh, space right now that we're working towards. Uh, all together, though, um, the Number one thing that I wanted to touch on is the Buzz Junior Summer Camps, uh, reaching into the component of actually reinvesting our intelligence and trying to get the youth involved in entrepreneurship. The 
bows during your summer camps are uh, a great way to get the youth started because we're bringing a lot of uh, valuable jewels to the youth at a very uh, young age. They can be as young as, and it's really not an age limit, it's reading levels. So third grade reading levels going up, they can be a part of this program. Uh, That's great. And I wanted to say, so here's what, sh what also shared showed to me how sharp you are. I also strategically do not put an age limit on our Real Estate 100 workshops. I do it by by reading level as well. And yes. the reason being is because there are some sharp, I mean, I tested gifted at a young early age. You don't want to leave out that youth that might be gifted. You know, you have a gifted, yeah. You know, seven-year-old and eight-year-old, you don't want to leave them out. So I appreciate that you're saying, you know, third grade reading level, welcome aboard. So how do they get connected? Are they going to get connected with you? I see you're getting come, you're coming back in. So I mean. no, Woohoo! Okay, look at that. We worked it out. <laughs> We worked it out. Okay. You see what I'm saying? This is what entrepreneurs do. We are troopers we had, for the cause. <laughs> That's awesome. So welcome back. And if you're just tuning in, we're on with Juar. Uh, his tag name on Facebook is Jay Understanding. Juar Kassir. He has joined us and uh, he's um, an entrepreneur. And I don't want to limit Juar to you know what he does in taxes and uh, business credit and personal credit. And he was talking about the youth summer camp, which is phenomenal. So how do people get connected to learn more about that? The youth summer camp, they can actually go right on BossJuniors.com and that's B-O-S-S-J-R-S.com. And they'll get a lot of information. It just breaks down uh, each component of our camp. We even have at the bottom a way for them to actually look at some of the preliminary videos just so that they can get a taste of what we'll have before. Uh, so I want to make sure whole, I put it correctly. It's Boss June. What is it? What's the tag name? Or the web? Boss, the URL? It's B O S S J R S dot com. Boom. All right. So we're going to get that on there. Boss Juniors dot com. B O S S J R S dot com. And this is for where you are. And so if you're in the Houston area, is that where you're launching it? This is actually nationwide. So we already have a few camps going. It's um, nationwide? Out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, this is really a call to action because we want individuals to host these boss junior camps as well. We don't just want people to sign their children up and have the children attend the camps. We want to actually look for individuals who... Uh, in our community, we have the women who love to take care of children. Go ahead and start a Boss Junior Camp up and be a part of our, our programming platform and then bring on some children under you. You already have a curriculum designed for the uh, camp, so you don't even have to do too much on your end as far as teaching goes. We already have everything designed for you to go right in and show them everything that we have. Oh, so. my goodness. That is amazing. So... Where do I go with this, Jawar? Come on. You're just making it too easy for people to make a difference. Jeez. <laughs> yes. make it as easy as possible. Um, and literacy was always hard for our community to get access to. So now we're at a point where it's, it's time to turn the tables and, and make it a little bit more accessible for individuals who are looking to get ahead of the curve. So starting with the youth. You might as well go ahead and lay something out that's very simple, easy to digest for the children, and very good for some adults who may still want some entrepreneur type uh, information. They even have a lot of, uh, you'll see a lot of people who might not know some information in that space, and they'll use the Boss Junior Camp, and they might learn something from it. So the goal is to reach both, both ends of the stick and try to empower uh, our, our community all together. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And kudos to you and your team. And uh, I, I know we talked offline that possibly connecting because this is right in my arena right here. So 
You know, we need to get some books. We need to get some of the workbooks, the real estate literacy curriculum as part of what you're doing so we can get some real estate literacy planted in there, some seeds. So, you know, let's definitely make sure that's happening. Um, I, I'm so ecstatic. That's definitely an asset to have real estate involved in that as well, because bricks and mortar is, is, the, is the working capital that people that they need. You know, you <laughs> need to have that. So you're talking about necessities. Let's let's make it as easy as possible. And, and you know, I want to scream that. right now because you just said that. <laughs> just, I want to scream because this is why I say everything around us is real estate. I don't mm. care what you I do care what you do. But in terms of you trying to say, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm a dentist, I'm an engineer, I'm a this and a that and a whatever the third is, you are all working out of commercial spaces, exactly. which is real estate. Exactly. It's real estate. You own a store, it's real estate. You own a mom and pop uh, market, it's real estate. I share with the kids, you guys like Six Flags, Magic Mountain, and all these amusement parks. It's real estate. Someone owns it. <laughs> so that that is very critical. So one of the things, how's your time? We can I can want to make sure you get all the information you need. We plugged in newrepublic.com. We definitely are supporting bossjuniors.com. Um any last last one. Let me get a little bit better space so you can see me a little bit better. And okay. I don't want you to we got a short time frame because I got time. Okay. Well, see, here's here's the thing about it. I'm a boss on this show. <laughs> as long as you have time, I'm going to keep rolling. I'm a boss on this show. And uh, I say cut when I say cut. But we just want to make sure people are, are getting the information or connected. I mean, I, here's what's really fun is Juar is giving us a tour of his, uh, the new Houston office. <laughs> this is actually Innovation Depot that we're at now. So uh, we're seeing a, a lot of, it's just a lot of space and we're just looking to co-work and uh, bring people down so that we can actually network and work on some big things. So that's great. Um, that's great. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate you having the patience with the technology, but like I said, you know, we'll make it work. And that is truly the life of the entrepreneur. Stuff happens. And what do we have to do? We have to improvise. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We wow. have to improvise. Go ahead. Another component that I wanted to speak to the guests about today was the boss up program that we actually had. Which okay. Was pretty major. Um, and we're trying to push a lot of people who are working steady jobs, nine to fives, into wanting to actually become entrepreneurs because they have aspirations, but they can't find the uh, actual income to invest into their ideas and being entrepreneurs. So key note and a key thing that I wanted to point out is that you'll see people making around 50,000 pay a lot more in taxes than companies that make millions paying taxes. The reason being is based on how they align their uh, their allowances and their exemptions. So if you have the right structuring as far as how to put some of that in place, you'll be able to reduce your tax liability and make it a lot easier for you to put some of that money elsewhere. So we're trying to show the underserved community how to actually use their or restructure their W-4s and put that income towards investing into themselves, whether it's uh, for their business or for their personal credit and restoring that uh, situation. So um, Boss Up right now is a, is a major component that we'll be rolling out and it'll give individuals the opportunity who are looking to invest into themselves uh, a way to do that. So um, That's great. I feel like you just got warmed up now. Yeah. <laughs> I had to get in the right space, you know. I, had to <laughs> I feel like out. you just got warmed up because now you're talking, you're talking my language. I mean, you, you hit it spot. See, I know what you're about. And that's why for people who who are learning about the platform, I'm bringing people who are just powerful uh, and and represent representation in in every industry, whichever industry that is, is absolutely paramount when we're talking about the future of our youth and our children and socioeconomic power 
and sustainability. So to hear you say that and articulate it so that people can hear whatever your stance is on ad, uh, presidential administrations, past, current, future, mm -hmm. you should be paying attention to the tax codes that are designed to support you as a DBA LLC entity so you can garner more benefits mm. for self. Yes, and you, and Ju Juar said it, I say it all the time. The personal individual pays more in taxes than any other entity. Mm. And you'll see a lot of times with our people, I mean, the black and brown people, we are looking forward to this refund, not knowing that it's an interest-free loan that we're giving to the government. This is not even something that we can we can make money off of. We're just giving money away at this point and just getting it back at the end of the year. Uh oh, and that's just, a sensitive spot for some people. They look forward to that big three thousand dollar, four thousand dollar check. But what are we doing with it? We just got to point out the fact. The fact of the matter is that a lot of times this money get, gets blown come tax season. About two weeks, and I've been doing taxes for some time now. I've witnessed it. I, I, I call, or these people call me back maybe two weeks later after they get their check, and it's gone, and they're looking for their estate check now. Mm. Instead of investing that money into something properly to uh, help them out in a financial, uh, give them more financial stability, it gets blown on a, a, a hoopty or you know an apartment that's not really going to, uh, it's going to depreciate and it's not going to really manifest anything for them future wise. Instead of investing into a real estate property and flipping that or, you know, taking that money and investing it back into your credit so that you can have a, a, a better position next tax season. So you can just take that money, put a down payment on a house, you know, for instance. So it's a lot of different ways to work your money. And right now it's just a, a pivotal point because we do have Trump in the office who's making it a lot easier for people to see. If you are in the tax position as a business, you are in a better position opposed to that individual. So why not follow the lead of what the president is trying to do? He's pretty much laying it out for you. Uh -oh. he's, he's showing you guys, hey, you need uh -oh. to go ahead and, and, and have a business opposed to being an individual when it comes to taxes at this point. So. Very good. I, I am very, very proud that you have stated that. <laughs> Because that way people don't hear it from me. They hear it from the tax man. This, this is Jawar. He does taxes. He's <laughs> saying to you, pay attention. And when people ask me, <clears throat> they like to ask me, you know, what do you think about, you know, real estate and what's going to happen in the state of the economy? I kind of boil it down to something very simple, Jawar. Mm -hmm. I say, pay attention to who's in office and what he's about. Yes. What is he about? They just passed the Frank Dodd Act, right? Mm -hmm. And what that has done for us is put us back into a lending environment that is a little bit looser than what we have been in the last administration. Mm -hmm. When we went through the, the, the crises, everybody closed down shop, credit crunch to no end, and you could not get a loan, nor could you have access to those credit lines even if you never skipped a payment. Exactly. So now we are shifting to an environment. So pay attention. Pay attention. Oh, this was timely, Juar. This was timely. Because I was thinking, I'm going to have you come on. It's post-tax season. But this is what I want to have happen, that we're talking regularly about the structures of the entities and paying attention to the IRS tax codes. Because people say, well, oh, you know, the the... The, the new tax reform is going to dissuade people from home ownership. Not unless you have a 721,000 mortgage, which most people don't. Yeah, exactly. The way um, it was designed is for 700, your first mortgage up to $721,000. Most people are not buying property at that level. So that either. goes to show you who that reform actually imp impacted. Right. Middle class and upper class. Middle class, upper class. So what do we have for the lower class? <laughs> right now, what we have available is boss up. Put yourself in a position to <laughs> be a boss, opposed to just being a worker and working, working, and not seeing the benefit from the money that you're creating for these companies. 
for having less tax liability than you are as a worker for that company. Right. You know, restructure that W-4. You know, you can actually analyze it, see what you can, uh, see how much money you have left on the table, see what money is going towards things that you don't even end up using, mm -hmm. such as your social security, mm -hmm. which a lot of times people don't even see a large portion of that at the at the end of the year. Right. Yeah, you might have saved up maybe five hundred dollars in your social security, but how much of a protection plan is that? Right. Take that money, invest into something that you can actually see the real benefits from, and then you'll be able to structure and put your life in a lot uh, more. I want to say more a, a better position. Totally, really. Absolutely. It, it just makes Absolutely. More sense. So we've covered a lot, actually. I mean, we made it work. We've covered about entrepreneurship. We talked about Boss Juniors, uh, and mm -hmm. that's the summer summer camp opportunity that's happening nationwide. If you'd like to learn more, visit BossJuniors.com. That's B-O-S-S-J-R-S.com. And Juar says start a camp. Start a start camp. It you know, it's just that easy. All we're doing is partnering with um, local organizations who are more than happy to have, they have the budget for it. Uh, or they have the space for it to just allow you to host a little camp, maybe 20, 30 students, and just provide the idea of entrepreneurship to those youth in that community. They'll be more than happy to be a part of it and take advantage of what you have to offer if you go in there and let them know exactly what our platform is all about. Um, right. If you have children, if you're watching this video, you should be involving your children into a program for youth entrepreneurship. This is very affordable. Um, and I know for a lot of people who are starting uh, to see their kids get out of school, you're looking for a program to put your children into. Don't send them to tennis camp. Don't send them to basketball. <laughs> send them to a youth entrepreneurship program for them to learn about the business side before they're doing the sports. You know, it's fun and everything, but they need to know the business. They're not right. going to be in school. So let's talk about there was a question. And let's talk about what, how much to sign up. What's the enrollment investment for per student? Okay, for signing up a student, the pre-registration is only fifty dollars, and it's a hundred dollars a week. So we have a four-week program. So in total, you're looking at four fifty total for the for the summer. That's two sessions, four weeks per session. Um, so if you want the child the child to come the next week. You can uh, have them sign up again and they'll just be enrolled in that next session. But it's only one hundred dollars for the whole week. And that's what and I wanted to ask you, I want I want people to hear this, because when we talked about from what time to what time I was like, wow, that's a good deal for people who who need the opportunity to, you know, they still have to work. The kids aren't in summer school. What are the times We're looking at eight to three p.m. right now, eight to three p.m.? You will have your children in a summer program where they're learning entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, say that five times, <laughs> FinLit, financial literacy. And I will be collaborating with those camps and you are on the team to make sure we are um, uh, getting real estate literacy in that as well. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. This, this is very good. So we talked about Boss Junior. We talked about uh, NewRepublic.com with the innovation that's happening. Are you guys hiring, recruiting, training? Can you touch a little bit on New Republic just for people who may tuned in? If you would like to um, become a part of the New Republic team, all you have to do is contact me uh, directly. You can reach me on uh, my Facebook at J Understanding. Mm -hmm. um, my email is Juar at NewRepublic.com. Okay. Um, and we, you know, I'll be hiring. I hire all year, actually. And I'm looking for sophisticated or even if you're not a sophisticated individual, I'm helping mold people to get to that point so that you can learn and know about entrepreneurship, know about all the different programs that we have. So um, I'll be hiring all year if you need it, if you need work. You hear Definitely. that? <laughs> you are said he will be hiring. He's looking. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate this brother right here. I'm telling you, he said I'm hiring all year round, and he's sharp. I'm t he is sharp. Uh, kudos to parents. Mom's on the show. She's tuning in. Uh, she gave you a shout out. She's like, "Hey, I'm his mom." So <laughs> shout out to uh, Heaven. <laughs> hey, mom. Uh, so 
so he's definitely get connected with newrepublic.com. And then we were talking about boss up for those of you who need to really get plugged into maximizing your refund. And I'm going to do a spin on this because people think that and you are touched on this. You think it's a good thing when you get that refund, um, but you have loaned that money out interest free to the government, to the entities. Uh, however, would it be the same in return if you borrowed their money? Would it be interest free? Not at all. <laughs> well, who knows what this money is going towards? This money is not going to the city to help build up the schools, get new and new new teachers in the schools. You don't even know what this money is going towards. <laughs> so it would be best to invest it back into something that you can actually see the real results from. Right. Um, and we're going to continue taking the steps to make it a lot more easy for people to see financial literacy is key. And to know your own situation, you have to really assess it and learn what a W-4 is and how right. to structure. Uh, they're doing it all the time in, in these major companies. So right. if you want to you know, definitely learn about more, hit me up directly and I'll be glad to, to share with you everything that I know and um, get everything started for you. That's absolutely wonderful. Juar, thank you for coming on. Any last remarks? And for those of you just tuned in, Juar, he, you know, I have to have him back. Uh, there are a few people that I bring back. You know, Anthony Lee is a regular uh, co-host of mine uh, on the investing side, landlord side. Side Juar, he and I talked about being more than a tax guy just once a year because we really need to talk about who is our top five. Who is building us financially, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically? Who is our top five? And I say this all the time. You should have a tax advisor. You should have your realtor, your real estate professional, or super agent, uh, your holistic doctor, your primary care physician. Mm -hmm. You know, you should be having a team of advisors to help build you so that you can build your family when we're building our families, we're building our communities, and when we're building our communities, that trickles on to building a very sustainable and powerful nation. So, Juar, any last remarks? Um, I'm just looking forward to any feedback that anybody may have, um, and I'm looking forward to connecting with anybody that wants to get started with restructuring and trying to figure out how to put themselves in a better tax position come tax season. Uh, anybody who's looking to get their child involved in entrepreneurship, I'm, I'm willing and ready to get your child signed up. And anybody that's looking to actually start a camp themselves, I'm open to helping get that started for you as well. It's a huge monetary gain that you get from it, as well as the benefit of you helping uh, employ entrepreneurship into the mentality of these children and getting them started at a young age. So if anybody has any questions, definitely contact me via Facebook email. Uh, I'm not going to put my phone number out there right now. No, that's okay. You're you are at newrepublic.com. I have his phone number. If you want to reach him, you can also go through me. I'll link you. And that's how we make sure, it, you know, it's, it doesn't get too crazy because it, it, it look, Juar, I, it's gotten crazy for me in the yeah. last couple of weeks when you <laughs> kind of go, when you become public. So yeah. we won't do that to you. I'll be the filter and we'll make sure people get connected. Uh, shout out to Whitney Payne. Uh, New York is in the building. Thank you again. And she appreciates today's subject matter. Again, if you found great value in today's show or in any of the shows, the past shows, be sure you tell someone, let us know. And make sure that we, um, we can continue to encourage and support our youth community. Because when, you, when you're watching and thinking, what is the state of Black America, Brown America, or that multicultural America, what does that look like? Right here. It's Dang right it. here. And you, it is the onus is on you to support us, what we do, and tell somebody. I like to say this, connect, build, and share. You guys, we really appreciate you for tuning in. We will see you next week on Ready, Set, Real Estate.